Today we're going to talk about things you should know before you build your own pizza oven in your backyard as a backyard pizza yolo. If you like this video, please hit the thumbs up button and subscribe. It really means a lot to me if you do. And also comment below. If you have experience building your own oven, I'd like to hear about it. When I applied to get permission to build my backyard pizza oven, I found out that there's a thing called the Uniform Building Code and there's a fire code that goes along with that. And I had to be in compliance with that. I couldn't have put my oven right here where I have this oven because it had to be at least 10 feet from the nearest structure and 10 feet from the property line, which means I would have had to put my oven over there off camera. You may want to check into your building permits and your homeowners association if you live in the US. You probably won't save money. This is one of the things that I realized soon into the process because as I began to cost out the brick, I couldn't build it the way I really wanted to without making it weigh over a ton. And that meant that I had to build a base in addition. And that base needs to be a reinforced concrete and it needs to be able to hold that much weight. Additionally, I had to acquire a lot of skills that I really don't have. And I didn't want to be learning the first time on my own pizza oven. There's a set of free plans on the internet. If you've never been to Forno Bravo, they have a great website and they sell a lot of really great ovens and oven kits. But they also sell plans for a do-it-yourself oven. Whether you're going to make it with concrete or fire brick or however you decide to build that oven, they have a set of plans that takes into account a lot of details and a lot of cases. One of the really important things about the oven and the kits, which by the way, I, I printed out their guide and it became my, my Bible. Start to realize how many details are important. And you really don't want to be figuring that out on your own or get any of them wrong. If you try to use the kind of brick this house is built with to make your pizza oven, you're going to fail. Your oven's going to crack. You need to use a special kind of brick for that. You need to use a special kind of cement. Uh, the floor needs to be a special kind of floor. You need to have a special kind of insulation that you use for your oven. There are all kinds of details that are critically important. The other thing that I think is really important about those plans is that they give you the proper dimensions and size for pretty much everything you're going to do. That's important for the way that the oven functions. You don't want the dome to be too high or it's not going to irradiate the pizza with the heat that it is built up. You also don't want the door to be too big, either too tall or too wide or too short. You need to have the chimney in the right place. So if you're going to build it by yourself, I would encourage you to go to fornobravo.com and look up the plans for the Pompeo oven. There are also a lot of build videos on YouTube for building that particular oven. There's a good chance that you build your own oven too big. And that means you're going to have extra thermal mass and that extra thermal mass is going to take longer to heat up. I also realized when I was buying that I was making immediate dollar for dollar trade-off in the oven that I was purchasing. And so when I bought the Subito Koto 80, I decided that it was right for my budget and I would be able to cook enough pizza, not too many, not too few for what I was doing. But when you build your own, chances are you'll be like me, you want to build it just a little bit bigger. In fact, I would have built an oven with a one meter cooking deck on the inside. And that really would have been too big for me. It would have used a lot of extra wood and it would take a lot of time. But when I had to go through and actually make the choice of purchasing an oven, I realized that I wanted to have the exact right size because much of the cost of the oven is in the size. Whereas when you're building it yourself, you think, ah, I can build it just a little bit bigger because the materials aren't that much more expensive to build a bigger oven. You have to use special materials. Like I mentioned, the brick that this house is made of is not good for building a piece of it. You have to use a special brick for that, a special type of cement. You need to make sure that you're using reinforced concrete for the base. So keep in mind that the materials that you use are gonna be special materials and when you source them, they might be more expensive than you think. It's going to weigh a ton. I'm not kidding. Building a one meter pizza oven, you're, you're building a piece of equipment that is probably going to weigh about a ton. My Zio Chiro, on the other hand, 
only weighs about 350 pounds, and it's perfect for me. Why does weighing a ton make so much different? Well, first of all, you have to build a base that's much, much stronger, maybe much, much bigger and wider to support that oven. The second thing is you can't take it with you. If you think you may ever sell your house, you're gonna cry if you have to leave that pizza oven behind and make a new one because it's an enormous project. The fuel that you use to power your oven is critical. If you're just making a wood-fired oven, then you don't have to build any special holes or connectors into the structure of the oven. Before you build the hearth, before you complete the stand, you need to know how you're going to get that gas tube up in there. So you really have to choose your gas and your burner before you start building your oven, rather than waiting till afterwards as an afterthought, because it's really hard to drill that hole in the appropriate place in your oven after the fact. Kits can save you time and money. While kits can be expensive, they usually start around $2,500 and they may go up to say four or $5,000 depending on how large you're building your oven. A kit that is already built out, that is already shaped properly, is going to save you a lot of money in the long run. You might want to check into that because the amount of time it takes to actually build the oven really differs with whether you're building it by hand with bricks and building the dome with bricks or if you have a dome to work with and you just have to put the pieces together but it's going to save you about half of your build time there are affordable options to building your own oven that will give you the same results maybe even better results when i was shopping around for my oven i was ready to build my own and my wife suggested hey why don't we see what's available out there and if there's an option that can get us what we want at close to the price when i really did the math, I realized that my best option was to purchase a pre-made oven. And these days there are a ton of different pre-made ovens that are absolutely perfect for the backyard pizza aiello. Zio Chiro line is one example of that. There's the Valoriano line, which is imported by Mugnani in the United States. Even smaller ovens are the Deli Vita. You may determine that your best bet is actually a portable oven, like one of the Oni models. I would encourage you to look around, see what you really need, and then determine if the investment's worth it. Thanks for watching this video. Do you have experience building your own backyard pizza oven? I'd love to hear about it. Please drop me a comment below. And again, if you like this video, please hit that like button and subscribe. I'd love to hear from you and love for you to receive all the new videos that we're releasing every week.